good evening good evening sir how are you i am very good what about you how are you i'm good how have you been it's been a long time since i saw you last yeah yeah it has been long <laughs> okay so how was your day sir my day was good uh, it went well okay and was it tiring or was it a relaxed day oh uh, no no it was not tiring it was almost you can say it was a relaxed day yeah your session document is about miracles mm -hmm. so when i say miracles what is the first thing that comes in your mind miracle uh, thing there something happened that uh, we don't really expect it is almost when we think that it is almost impossible it is not going to happen and if it happens then we think oh it's a miracle that it happened we never expect it to happen Okay. Do you believe in miracles? Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Uh, so many uh, occasions that I have heard, uh, it must be a miracle. Otherwise, how come that such an incident happened and such a thing got to know? Okay. So any miracle that has happened in your life or in someone else's life that you'd heard that you've heard of and that has really you know made you amused and you were really shocked about it. no uh, in my case i have not uh, um, faced with any miracles uh, i have been don't know about some of my known persons who have uh, experienced any miracles but i have uh, read in newspaper some incidents that occurred it was long ago um, one uh, plane crashed and there are around 400 uh, passengers almost have died but one uh, two year uh, it was there uh, infant i can say in that case that infant survived so it was nothing less than a miracle yes yes so uh, miracles do exist uh, a lot and that is something even i believe in so um you said you've read about a miracle uh, this is just one a miracle that you've heard about anything else that ever came across uh, you or something like that? no again another incident that i uh, remember it happened in the city i think in delhi it happened uh, it was also long uh, ago that one ex uh, one guy met with an accident and one uh, iron Uh, rod that pierced through his body. It was around five feet the rod and two inches wide. So he survived that accident. It was a miracle. Okay, so sir, uh, when these kind of accidents happen, do you think that uh, they are a miracle, or do you think that this is fate and it? yeah uh, we also believe in fate it is he was destined to be there like that so yeah you can say that also okay and uh, so one question i would like to ask you do you believe in god or do you believe in science science so we cannot deny because science gives us example so we are bound to believe it when it gives us the example that this happened there is a logic so when it comes to god we cannot prove it it is another thing but it uh, it is in our belief that yeah there is someone existing in this world who is controlling all our life so it is more about belief when it comes to god and when it comes to science we know how it works so this is the difference i think Okay. Uh one question I would like to ask you. Um do you think hard work creates min uh, min uh, miracles? Hard work uh always pays uh, as you know that there is no other alternate uh, than hard work. But sometimes uh, even somebody that putting much work but they did not get the kind of result that they are going for that also 
we can say in that case, oh, it was in his destiny, even though he tried so hard, but he could not get the, but you will find that at the same time, some person uh, did not put in much uh, effort, but get better result. So this is, even though someone is doing hard work, they cannot bring, <laughs> uh, bring out the miracles, but without putting hard work, someone is getting um, their result almost like a miracle. Yes, sir. Agreed, 100%. So is there any story or any incident that come across come across your mind uh, where you've seen that hard work actually turns into a miracle mm, no no i can say right now it's not coming to my mind it's coming to my mind okay okay uh, so sir uh, you know this one question i've asked a lot of people so i thought i might ask you uh, for you what is more important uh, experience or education Experience or education, okay. So experience is another thing. Even after uh, we get our uh, minimum education, then also we need experience. So suppose uh, in normal course, what happens that one uh, student has passed out from an engineering college, but when he gets for a job, so always there is a question, yeah, how, what is your experience? So there comes the importance of experience because the company that is going to hire him, so he they always think about their company and how much he can develop when he will come and join their company. So experience matters in that case. But without education, also we cannot gather our knowledge. We need some certain kind of education we will get, and when we educate ourselves, we also get to know how to behave with uh, uh, people, so many things comes and we get to know. Experience also gives us uh, uh, the kind of education because when we are doing some work and we get to know about these things, practical knowledge, that is what is called empirical knowledge like this. So both are essential, I think. Okay, okay. Well, this was actually a question that was asked to APJ Abdul Kalam in one of his interviews. And I thought okay, okay. Uh, I might ask other people. Okay, uh, so another question to you is, uh, what does friendship mean to you? When I say friendship, what is the first thing that comes in your mind? Friendship is uh, that relationship between one person to another person. Uh, it may be between uh, two male or between one male and one uh, female or between two female. Friendship always uh, think about uh, the other person. And friendship gives us happiness. When we meet some persons who is uh, like the kind of person that we are, there are so many similarities between us. Then we come closer to that person, we warm up to that person. And that gives us happiness. And we always try to. Uh, Think about that person. It is not always me. How can I help that person whenever he or she is in trouble? And that in friendship, there should be, uh, the friendship should be selfless, I mean, not a selfish motive that if I make friend to a particular person, I am going to get this, this much advantages. It happens now that if I make can make a friendship to that particular person. He is in certain position, so I will get some help from them. That will be a uh, selfish uh, thing. When it comes to friendship, there should not be such things that uh, it should, uh, the motive should be a self selfless one. Then we'll try to uh, um, help each other when it is required, when it is required. That's what I think this friendship is all about. Sir, uh, have you in your in your life when you know earlier and even now, did you make friends very spontaneously or you took time to make friends? Uh, if I uh, tell you frankly, I don't have such kind of friend that I'll die for him or like that. I just I have friends, and whenever there is uh, any need that they 
even if i need i will seek help from them and even they are in need i also for help so much uh, to the extent that is possible on my part and i am doing this it is not i don't uh, like to be uh, attached very much because attachment gives us uh, pain suppose i am very much attached to a particular person and if something happens that gives us pain so i always uh, maintain that one try to maintain so, so sir did you make friends easily or you took time to make them yeah it takes time yes i don't make easily friends i think about that person when i'll get to know what kind of person is, is whether he is in some he has some motive uh, making friends with me it always you, after uh, going along with the person for some time you will definitely get to know so these things so when i will see that okay this this is a person i can make friends yeah i go for it and sir any friends in your service that actually helped you a lot yeah there are some uh, of my colleagues are there so so far uh, health is concerned uh, it did not occur uh, such a situation did not occur that i uh, needed some help from them but i know that if i am in need of help they would definitely uh, come forward to help me yeah i have two three colleagues like that yeah so any nothing, mischief nothing. any mischief ringing someone's doorbell and running away yes yes so one incident now just you told me uh, it reminds me and it happens with that uh, friend that i told you so one day <laughs> we decided that um, we'll go uh, in the morning for plucking flowers okay it was around uh, we are say, plus 5 or 6 at the time so who will get up first in the morning that is another challenge so i uh, woke up in the morning and it was uh, pitch dark at the time maybe it was 4 am in the morning then i went to his uh, house and i um, took a piece of wire and locked his door from the front door so that he cannot come out <laughs> and i went for plucking flowers that <laughs> one I remember okay i would like to ask you is there any accomplishment in your life that you are very uh, proud of mm, accomplishment in life in the field of anything anything yes so anything in general like even like a small trophy for a drawing competition or something but that one accomplishment that you are very proud of not exactly proud of but uh, yeah the past uh, uh, even that i own a prize that i can uh, yeah that i remember um it was uh, what happened then when we were uh, in school during uh, 15 august and 26 january republic day and independence day in our area there are so many activities uh, games etc were held so i uh, took part in some of them and in one uh game was the cock fight if you if you know that about do you know cock fight yes yes i am aware you about it you have to fight uh, with one leg so yes i am aware one. about it yeah yeah so that one i played and i won the first first prize so yeah i remember that one. not exactly proud of i can say yeah it gave me so much happiness oh this was the first prize that in my life i won that one Okay, and uh, sir, do you remember your first paycheck? The first paycheck that you got? Ah, uh, paycheck actually. Uh, what happened that when I joined office, uh, we did not have a check system. Uh, we used to get cash at that time. Now uh, we get our amount uh, salary get credited in the bank account. That is a separate matter. But earlier we used to get cash. So yeah. the first <laughs> salary i got so so do you remember that feeling how did you feel when you got it yeah yeah it's a tremendous feeling you are earning your own uh, money that 
uh, it gives a very beautiful feeling because all uh, before that I always depended on my father. So even if there was anything that I needed, I had to ask him. But now I am earning, I can give him something. Yeah, that's a very good feeling. That's it.